Hello everybody, Carmedia here. Welcome to a new sewing pattern magazine video. Today we have the latest clip model magazine and that will be uh, number 5 of 2023 or issue May. So of course we have some nice uh, spring uh, patterns. We have uh, an oversized dress and some uh, jersey garments and a wrap dress uh, with a sewing lesson. So let's get uh, into it. We have here their um, favorite patterns let's say of the of the issue and there is a pair of pants, a skirt and a t-shirt and we will see them later in the in the magazine. Now they changed a little bit you can see the technical drawings uh, starting from the beginning so that's kind of nice you don't need to go all the way in the middle to to find them and hmm, as you can see immediately we get an idea that we have actually there are only five patterns I think if I'm watching really fast but uh, we are going to come back here in a moment after we see uh, the the model pictures let's say so bring some color to your spring and you have here the wrap dress um, the oversized dress that we've seen on the cover and the vest and they start here with this uh, wrap um, cardigan this one is made in a sweater knit it's polyester viscose and uh, cotton and um, let's see this one is they don't do the sizes here that's that's strange you can see the sizes only or the sizing only in the beginning i think let's watch also not oh that's a, we know that their patterns they are all in uh, uh, in a lot of sizes here they, do the, they also don't do the sizes so we know that their patterns are in sizes uh, most of them 34 to 56 and some of them them in sml xl and so on um, now i can see it here these dresses they use the s uh, to XXL sizes and these ones are probably the, the numbered ones so I think there is a difference in that too uh, let's see further um, what I also like in knit mode that they say the size of the of the mannequin of the model and um, this beautiful girl is 1 meter 80 and she's wearing size XXL here we have uh, this dress, so the oversized dress from the beginning. Uh, let's see, is uh, dress number 13, which uh, it has also a uh, décolleté here in the back. And uh, this one is made in rayon, in a rayon linen blend. And I do believe that a linen, rayon linen blend will be actually the, um, the heaviest fabric you you can you you should use for this i mean a cotton would look a really i think you need to have a very drapey fabric as it is needs to drape really, really uh, to be soft um they also say here that if you are using a crispy cotton uh, then the dress will going to get um, uh, a little bit more volume and that the ruffle is going to stick out a little bit or is going to be more in the attention but I think if you use a crispy cotton the whole dress is going to get a lot of attention um, then you have this dress it will be the red one uh, this is a, a wrap it has a zipper in the side seam and it has a video tutorial on it uh, you can find it on the Knip Moda magazine uh, on the Knip Moda website and um, I did see the video, it's really nice because you can see how they form this split here in the dress. I still don't quite understand what is the use of this little um, piece of fabric here that is added later um, over, the, over the pleat on the outside, let's say. I, I don't really get that. But uh, the dress, uh, it's, an, it's a really nice dress and you can see if you watch in the web shop from Knip Moda where they have also the digital version of these patterns, you can also see videos there. And uh, almost all the patterns they have also a video where you can see the model walking around in this, uh, in this garment. Um, 
Then you have a little bit of advertising for their Knip Mode Academy and they offer here a, dress, a skirt um, course to be 30 euro including the um, skirt uh, for women and girls uh, size and there are a total of 20 uh, lessons. Then we have another pattern, this will be this dress, it's a jeans dress and you will see it later with uh, a straight, I, I'm not really a big fan of this shaped uh, center front seam, I really like the straight one and later in the magazine the other one has a straight um, front here, it's using actually the same pattern only with a little bit of a variation. Um, so this is made in denim, uh, let's see, Yes, it's a denim. I, I don't know if it's with stretch or without stretch, I suppose without. Um, the vest or the cardigan is made here out of a kind of, let's see, uh, a woven lace. And the t-shirt is made in French terry. It will be this t-shirt and this is the t-shirt that we've seen everywhere, the one with the shoulder pads. If I'm not mistaken, I've seen it before in Clean Mode and I think even in Burda. I was really excited in the beginning, but now hmm, I've seen it a little bit too much. I'm, but it's a nice t-shirt. So a t-shirt with the um, shoulder pads that is also as a tutorial a bit later in the magazine. The cardigan is quite nice and really easy to make actually. Um, here we have uh, some, uh, in the next one, some um, ruching details and we are starting with a really nice dress this one is made in uh, scuba fabric with stretch of course and uh, it has bust darts and a little bit um, a wide neckline on the front it does have uh, an invisible zipper and i think depending on the stretch of your um, scuba or jersey because they say that it's you can make it also in a, a ponty knit and I think also in a little bit uh, in, a, in, in a cotton jersey will be also really beautiful. I wonder how um, necessary is that uh, zipper in the back. The same here, this is uh, the skirt part of this dress of course and here they say that it's made in uh, printed cotton with stretch but I'm pretty sure that this is also a knit, a knitted fabric as I'm always watching at the technical drawing and I see here the double rows of stitching and that gives me the um, clue that this is made also for stretch fa for knit fabrics. Most of the time for knit fabrics they will use um, a cover stitch or a double needle uh, hem. So this is the dress, again the dress, the skirt, again it has um, an invisible zipper in the back. I don't know how um, necessary it is. Also they say that the skirt has on the inside of the uh, waist facing I guess, because there is not a waistband but to be a facing on the inside, there is also elastic in it. So I wonder how necessary is that invisible zipper. But I think it's a cool skirt. A little bit different, you know, than a plain jersey skirt. Here we have kind of the same dress with a little bit modified neckline, a little bit higher and rounder. And they loosed the bust darts here, but they added the ruching. And that's taking, of course, also the amount of the bust dart is taking in here. And this one is made in tricot, so to be, kind, I think, a cotton jersey. And uh, again, we have here the invisible zipper. I am not sure if that is really, really necessary as the dress is not extremely tight around the waist. So I'm pretty sure it will be okay also without the zipper. Then we have here the, it's pretty much the same pattern as the white t-shirt with the um, shoulder pads. Only here it doesn't have the shoulder pads, but you have here the nice uh, bands around the arm. I'm really not a big fan of this uh, ripped jersey used here. It's really not nice. Um, this one is made in um, ripped jersey and and that will be a uh, um, cotton and 6% elastane. I know this be, must be really really very stretchy and I'm not sure what they used for the green one. I don't know if it's the same fabric, it doesn't really look the same. 
But uh, yeah, I really like this is a nice variation on a simple uh, t-shirt. Then we have here the more or less the upper part of the um, dress with uh, the with a square neckline, but here they made it with spaghetti uh, bands, shoulder bands, and also they added here, they say that it's going to stay in place, also because they added here some clear elastic on the inside. You can see some rimples here, I don't know if that's really, really something that you want, but um, I think if you, this would be really nice fitted on the body because it's a jersey fabric, it's a rayon jersey, it's going to sit also nicely with that, that elastic that is gathering uh, the fabric here and you have the shoulder band so it's never going to go down then we have some pants here and again i've seen this uh, i've seen the video on the um, product page on their website and although they advertise that these pants they are sitting high on the waist i mean her waist might be somewhere here but the pants are somewhere like really low waisted i suppose they might be a little bit too big for the model i'm not sure um yeah it's uh i'm not a really big fan of the oversized uh, trend but it's you know there are people that do like this kind of uh, cargo uh, baggy trousers, not my style. These one are made in 100% uh, uh, viscose, so they are very uh, soft probably. Uh, then we have here something that I really like and I'm almost sure that is the same pattern as this one, only here the uh, shorter version is made in a tensel with uh, linen and I think I'm going to keep this pattern to make it also for the summer it's going to be really nice I think maybe made in a linen or uh, also in a blend It'd be really really nice I like the pockets the proportions of the legs they are really really nice and this one's I cannot see this what why I cannot see the sizes probably they have the number sizes like you know the usual ones here we have a variation of the denim skirt that we've seen um, a few pages um, in front um, earlier here you can see the center front is completely straight there is no slit here in the front and they did a little bit of color blocking and added some pockets you have here one on the front and one on the back in the picture is looking okay the one on the back but in the video is looking kind of I think I did see it in the video. It's kind of out there. I will skip this pocket and maybe use the usual jeans pockets that we have uh, from the denim uh, option of this skirt. And this one is made in stretch denim, so probably you could make the other one also in stretch denim, the one with the slit in the front. Then we have here the mini me pattern for this uh, issue is the um, a men's t-shirt and the little boys one you can find it in their uh, Knip Kids uh, magazine for the kids the sizes are from 104 to 134 and uh, the man is wearing here size 50 then we can see here again all the models but we are going to take a look in a moment let's see what are the rest of the patterns it's nice they have on the instructions they have here and there a photo with some uh, of the details some of them are kind of small and not really you cannot really see them but the idea is nice uh, sweet summer they are bringing us to the summer already and that's good because the next issue is going to be uh, June and we have here again the same uh, shoulder pads uh, t-shirt with a variation uh, or with a, with a um, pleated short pant we have the dress and in this case it ma is made in poplin and I think you can already see that it falls a little bit uh, different than the one in viscose um, yeah what can I say you have a lot of room to eat in this dress uh, further we have the t-shirt from earlier you can see it here and uh, pleated pants in a shorter variation I think I like the other ones better again a dress here and it is a little bit of variation of the of the blue one from here as you can see only they change the front a little bit and this is actually a mini dress like a tunic 
Um, here you have the tutorial for that shoulder pads uh, t-shirt. Quite easy to make. Then we have here the wrap dress and as I said if you have the magazine and you scan the code you can find the, you can go directly to the sewing tutorial but you can also find it anyway on their website and maybe you can see here uh, the skirt is getting really nice splitted here in the front but then you get this a little piece of fabric that is getting sewn onto it again I am not sure why it's really pity you cannot see it here and this one is made also in viscose. Further, we have here a blouse. And actually there are four variations on the same uh, blouse. And I am going to show you my favorite. So we have here the blouse and this, this the first variation, all of them are in sizes S uh, till uh, XXL, triple XL. And the first uh, variation is with a plain back. There is no yoke, there is no um, pleat in the back. And then you have the sleeves. And in this one, there is a pleat that is going uh, aligned with the shoulder seam. You can see here. And then there are some pleats here at the cuff. Then the next variation is this one here, where the back has a pleat and a yoke and the sleeve is a little bit different you lose the volume here up but you get it gather here down at the cuffs you can see it also with the pleat here and this one is my is my favorite i really like this one here we have another variation of the same blouse again you have this the, the plain back and then you have in the sleeve you get even more volume in the sleeve where you get um some uh, you get a few pleats quite a lot and then also the gathers so they put it all in and uh, let's see this one is made in an um, in a linen mix this one is made in an embroidered uh, also linen mix linen viscose mix and this one must be uh, also a blend that would be this one here of uh, 55 linen and 45 cotton. You can also see that it's a little bit lesser drapey. Um, let's see. So as you can see, this one is the one with the most uh, volume. We have one, two, three. Oh yes, and we have later one more. Uh, then we have the pleated pants again. And you can see them here, you get also some um, darts at the hem. And because this one is made in a polyester cotton with a little bit of stretch, but it's quite of a stiff fabric, you can see that there is a lot of volume. They also advise that if you don't like the darts in the hem you can also leave them uh, straight and i wonder how they will look made maybe in a much softer fabric and then indeed without the darts i think they'll be also a nice uh, shape here they have a little tutorial on how to sew a zipper fly a zip fly for the um, for the pants really nice and that was it we can see what we get uh, for the next month we have a really uh, fitted dress and here is an interesting one with some uh, so I think I've seen this somewhere in the big uh, four uh, patterns so we get some really nice uh, summery uh, patterns uh, next month I was only watching um, I remember I did see this um, this um, uh, blouse this one is the same I think as this one so the one with the pleat, but this one you see it uh, online on their web shop. I think it's a little bit too long on the sleeves, this one. Um, okay, let's take a look at the patterns. We can see them here. And you can see that actually the blouses, there is only one blouse. The t-shirts is only actually only one. The skirts, there are actually two, 
but uh, one this is one this is uh, also one of the skirts but this one is just the skirt part of this dress here and you have fear variation and then you have one two three uh, four and five from the same uh, dress pattern and um, if I was to pick my favorites for this month it would be this dress of course with all the variations I really like this uh, wrap dress and I think this is going to go on my list and I really love this blouse here with the pleat in the back and the sleeves with only the volume down also the denim skirt is really a big winner and of course the um, shorter pants for the summer so I think it's a good issue clip mode May 2023. I hope you enjoyed my video. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel for future videos and give me thumbs up if you like the video. Bye everybody!